Reducing disaster risks involves everyone in a society. Even though at the time of a crisis or disaster, most people instinctively think of government authorities being responsible for everything. In reality, the most important work is done by many people, engaged in their daily activities of pursuing their professional responsibilities or conducting their practical abilities. Some indeed are government officials and other types of recognized local leaders. Financial departments and budget planners are equally important, but often overlooked. But besides administrators and politicians, there are many other key public officials who work in various government ministries and departments. These include the professional disciplines important for risk management in the environment and natural resources. The built environment and infrastructure requires many different skills and abilities of many people, including in construction companies at work, carpenters, electricians, masons, local home builders and housing planners. Transportation systems are critical elements for protecting from disaster risks. Through the efforts of people engaged in the construction, maintenance and management of roads, public transportation, railroads, airfields, ports and terminals, and all forms of storage and logistical operations. The storage of hazardous materials requires particular skills. Many of these activities involve people in both public enterprises as well as private sector commercial concerns. Reducing disaster risks involve people working in all forms of food processing and supply, whether industrial, on the farm or in local markets. Similarly, the provision of public utilities like electricity, water, communications, energy and fuel equally require people involved in reducing disaster risks. Manufacturing and commercial enterprises employ many people relevant to minimizing public exposure to risk. As all societies are driven by information, many people engaged in information technology and broadcast media and entertainment have important roles to play in communicating with the public and about their protection. All of these people in some manner are engaged in disaster risk education. But none are more so than teachers in our schools, whether at elementary levels in forming the next generation or in advanced academic training or in the development of important skills. This also includes parents and locally respected leaders. So there are very many and different people in all societies engaged in reducing disaster risks.